We're going to discuss the special triangle, 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Now, when we have a 30, 60, and 90 degree triangle, we can actually find the sides without even using the SOKATOA. So we're going to do it without uh, using a calculator. First, we're going to have to label them into three parts. The S, the H, and the L. What does this S mean? It means the shorter side. Now, as you can see here, the shorter side here is going to be the opposite of 30 degrees. This one over here. This side. Why? As the angle is smaller, the opening or the length of the, of the sides on the opposite side will be shorter. So this is what we call the shorter side. Now, the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle, which is always the opposite of the 90 degree mark. This is the 90 degrees. This is the hypotenuse. And then lastly, of course, the longer side. So we have the shorter side. We have the short side. And then we have the longer side. This is our longer side. So opposite of the 30, uh, 60 degree mark is what the longer side is, or where, it is, uh, where you can find it. Next. <clears throat> now, how are, we, how are we going to solve this? For example, let's just say... They gave me a hypotenuse of 10. A hypotenuse of 10. We need to find out the shorter side and the longer side without using our calculator. Now we will just do something in here. Just memorize this. The shorter side is over 1. The hypotenuse is over 2. And then the longer side is over root 3. Now, how are we going to use this? Just memorize this part, and everything will be easy. It will just be a little bit of algebra once you memorize these three, po uh, three parts. We will just put a fraction over these numbers. So the numbers underneath them are unknown for now. Now, what is our shorter side? Our shorter side is here, and we don't have a shorter side. Let's just say the shorter side is S. I don't have my shorter side yet. Now, hypotenuse, here, we have the hypotenuse 10. All I have to do is to write 10 underneath because we already have 10 here for the hypotenuse. But we don't have the longer side. The longer side is here. We don't have it. And we have to find it. So I will just put L for longer side. Now, we can solve for the S and the L at the same time by using a little bit of algebra. So here, for example, I'm going to solve for the shorter side. I will be using this S here, this part, and this part. And I will just put it in here. So 1 over S is equal to 2 over 10. All I have to do is to cross multiply. So multiplying these two, 1 times 10. I'll just write it here. 1 times 10 is equivalent to uh, 10. And then, I will multiply this. 2 times s is 2s equals to 2s. And then, I will just have to divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. Therefore, s is equals to 5. It means the shorter side in here will be equivalent to 5. So, I will be writing it here now. So, this is 5. This one over here is 5. So, take a look at, uh, take a look at it. Because I need to erase this and work out for the other length. So I'll just erase it now and I'll do the other one. Now for the other one, we are going to use these two. Because I need now the longer side. So it's going to be 2 over 10 is equals to root 3 over longer side. Now again, we can always cross multiply here. I'm going to multiply these two. So 2 times L, 2L. This times that, square root of 3, and then times the 10. Then I'm going to have to divide both sides by 2, by 2, simplified, 1. So I'll just put the answer in here. So L is equal to simplifying this, 10 divided by 2, we can simplify that into 5 over 1. Which is just going to be 5 root 3. 
and that is how you find the longer side. So the longer side in here is just going to be 5 root 3. So 5 root 3. So we will, I will give you more examples to this. Let's just erase it for a second. I will just write the uh, formula on a little bit smaller space so I can write, uh, I can have a huge space in here. So again, the shorter side is over 1, the hypotenuse is over 2, the longer side is over root 3. Again, let's have an example. Let's reverse it. For example, I have the shorter side. I have the shorter side. Let's, uh, let's just say my shorter side is 8. So all I have to do is I'm going to put over 8 here because we have the shorter side here. We have 8. But we don't have the hypotenuse. I'll just put H because I don't have it. And over the longer side. So we will use these three fractions. We have three fractions in here or three ratios that we are going to use. For example, I'm, I need to find my hypotenuse. If I want to find my hypotenuse, I will use the one where there's a fraction where there's no missing information. So I will do 1 over 8 is equals to 2 over h. So again, cross multiply, first write your equal sign. Multiply that, that's going to be 1 times h is h. Multiply this, 2 times 8 is 16. So as easy as that, we already have the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 16. So this will be 16. Now let's do the other one. So we have 1 over 8 is equals to square root of 3 over the longer side. Square root of 3 over the longer side. Now you just have to cross multiply, first write the equal sign, multiply these two, write the answer in here. So 8 times root 3 is 8 root 3. Next, we multiply these two, L times 1 is just L, as simple as that. And we already have the longer side, which is 8 root 3. And there we go. That's how you solve special triangle, which is 30, 60, 90 degree angle, without using your calculator.